Hi, it's Lindsay from Buy, Sell, Love, Durham. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Tuesday morning market update. It's my opportunity every week to share with all the Durham region exactly what's happening with real estate. I'm up here on Winchester Road. So I'm in between Ritson and Simcoe Street at the Food Truck Corral, which has just reopened. And this is a great sign that spring and summer's on the way because when the Food Truck Corral is open and everybody can sit out here and eat outside, it's pretty awesome. So the weather is spectacular. So I'm gonna highly recommend coming up here. Check it out. It has got all kinds of different types of food and it's got a great, great pizza location up here. Now, before you jump into the numbers, I got a blog tagged into the um, into the notes section of this video, and what I did was I I, I, ma I make production predictions usually two or three times a year. So back in December, I made a prediction of where we would be price wise in Oshawa, Whitby, and Clarington in May of this year. Now, read through because. Um, I'm actually, I did a pretty good job. We're early this year as far as the price increases. So this was December, I made predictions for May. Give you a bit of a sense here, is um, the average sales price in Oshawa in December was 791,000 for a detached home. I predicted it would be 880,000 by the end of May. And by the end of March, we're at 892,000. So we're actually 12,000 higher than what I predicted uh, two months later. So we things have really shifted up in a really positive way. So check out the blog. It's got all kinds of good information on what's happening in Durham region. The other thing I wanted to cover was I got one of the, the, the listeners reached out to me and asked me if I could spotlight um, Port Perry area or Skugog. And the reason that I don't include some of the smaller communities is there's just not enough data to be able to, to pull any trends from them. Um, one, I went back the last couple of months to show her kind of what's been selling in the port area. And there were, I think, 16 sales one month. There was 20 sales one month. So there's not enough information to gather any data. But if anybody wants to know any of the other smaller communities in Durham region, I'm more than happy to fire off an email to show you exactly what's happening. So let's just jump straight into the numbers. The last seven days, we've had 230 homes come to market. That's newly listed for sale. That's up 16 from the week before. Conditionally sold, we've had 63 homes leave the market sold conditional, 113 homes leave the market sold firm. So we had 176 houses sell last week or up six from the week before. We are seeing a lot of conditional sales right now and that's kind of indicative of the market's a little bit is soft it's moving, but it's not moving like crazy like it was a couple years ago. But we're back more into where conditions are pretty common these days. If you've got any questions, I can be reached at 905 area code 743-5555. Catch me in the email address on the screen. And like I said, if you're curious about any communities inside Durham Region or smaller, reach out to me. I'd love to help you out. Have a great week, Durham Region. <music>